Michigan. This is Grand Tap Media Business TV. My name is Pamela Keim, your host. The spirit of the show is to introduce West Michigan to all the businesses, nonprofits, individuals that can help us thrive. We are recording out of the Grand Castle Library, inside the Grand Castle, which is the second largest castle on earth located in Granville, Michigan. Thank you, WCET, for being here today with the ca cameras. We got Ben and Brian behind the scenes here. We have a special show for you today. Uh, one of my guests were unable to, to uh, be here today, and I was so happy that my husband has, was off today, and he's oh, yeah. escorting me around, and I'm getting everything done with the interviews. He is going to be my special guest today, and we're just going to talk about credit unions, what Grand Tap Media has in store, Grow Business Today, which I've collaborated with, and what's going on at the Grand Castle. So I want to welcome to the show my husband, my wonderful husband, David Kine. Oh, hey. hey nice <laughs> he is it's the president and CEO of Western Districts Members Credit Union. I love saying that. Oh, yeah. And uh, he does Word of the Day I for all you fans of, out there to right. follow him. Yeah, all three. The Marion Webster's. So thank you. Welcome to the show, babe. Well, thank you very much. We're, for we're a little bit here. closer. Um, ben and Brian has approved this. Yeah. Uh, because we are, uh, we're kind of married. We kind of live together, yeah. Yeah, we live together. We we're, drove we here together. Yeah, so yeah, so we, we can do that closeness thing. We don't need that six foot apart. <laughs> That's exactly it. So yeah. we're okay with that. Yeah. So let's talk about, you know what? Today, oh. you have off this week because you're just uh, finishing up your year. Yeah. You're in on, on, on uh, for the credit union business. We're going to talk about a little bit what you think 2021 is going to look like and what it is for um, the financial institutions such as yourself, the credit union. Well, really? We're gonna yeah, start. you're going to start okay. right there. Oh, right Let's here. give it okay. right for Let's a bang. Okay. And, and wow. tell me, how, tell everybody how long you've been with the credit union and, well, and how much what, you like about I'll it, credit going, unions. I've been going on 20 years uh, okay. credit union at Western Districts. Uh, before that, I was with another credit union 10 years. So I have about a 30-year career. You have like in, two in, branches in, right here yeah, in West yeah, Michigan. Yes, we do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, so we've been doing that. And uh, we um, are very fortunate because I, I have some great staff that has made my tenure there at the credit union. Uh, worthwhile. They are. Sure. They're wonderful. Uh, great members uh, and the whole thing. But anyway, going tell, back. Tell, tell, the, tell the viewers, a lot of people don't know. We didn't grow up with a, with a credit union and they're always so surprised. Tell them a little bit difference. Between, what is the difference between a credit union and such as a regular bank institution? Well, it's pretty much. I, of course, I, I take that. Everybody kind of that's in the business already takes it kind of for granted. But, right. a, but a credit union is actually owned by the membership. You are an owner. Uh, so well, every time you become a member, you become like an owner well, of part of the credit that's union. That's how you become a member. Right, right. You're okay. An owner of a credit union. So, but uh, as a bank, as a bank constituent or or a client for a bank, you don't have to be. You're not actually an owner of the stock, of the bank. I mean, there's a several oh, I see, very I see. wealthy okay. people that yeah, are owners yeah. of the bank. We're in a credit union. You actually are an owner. Every one of you are actually an owner when you actually are a member there. So. And do so, people understand you know, that today? One vote, one. Yeah. yeah. Do one people vote. understand that today? I don't know, and I, I'm not sure if it's that. It's, some people don't realize it's actually pretty important, but because uh, you actually have a voice, and you can actually, every member is eligible to serve on the board of directors if they like to. That's not saying that too long. The, the, well, <laughs> no, but it, but it is something that they can have a voice, and they do get the vote every uh, annual meeting and the whole deal. So yeah, it is it it is a little different, and generally in credit unions as a whole nowadays, actually you get get better interest rates on savings, little little lower rates on on uh, on your on your loans. Well, and one thing about credit unions, and most people that have been part of credit unions for many many years will tell you it's they're part of your family. They they as your mm -hmm. as your slogan goes, you know. You guys, um, live, what is it? We live life together. We do. You know, and mm -hmm. with that being said, you, you go through the seasons of people's lives when they buy homes, cars, when the kids goes off to college, when they do, you know what I mean? Right. That's one thing when I used to walk into credit unions, so even such as yourselves, uh, before I, we, we became together, it's like everybody knew who I was. It's like they knew my history. They knew how, and that's kind of, of what the I gave him a, gave him a heads up on you too, sweetie, when you came, before you came in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, exactly. No, you know, it's funny about when you talk about we, we, we uh, live life together. We, you know, the coming around how we came to that slogan as opposed, we were going to say, we do life. Yeah, really. We, 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 we were gonna 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 say, that sounds like prison, we, you we, know? We do life <laughs> together, and then we thought, well, it sounds like we're going to go to Jackson <laughs> or, or, or IMAX. So we, we, we live life together, and we really do. We, it is a life that's right from cradle to grave, and it's something that uh, it's, 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 it's family. And so what types of, um, but, let's just talk about people walking in, what are they looking for today I, um, from, the, from, from a credit union in, um, institution? Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I think nowadays people want ease of access of, you know, of actually connectivity, how they, how they can actually do business 
without actually having to go in. And, co and Corona has been a, the, the COVID-19 actually has actually pushed. pushed us probably a decade ahead as far as technology and different things that made us be a little bit smarter, a little bit more access oriented for our membership. Um, we have an older membership at Western Districts and, and uh, that membership was somewhat reticent of actually wanting to come into the credit union. Uh, they wanted to talk, they, they loved to talk on the phone, they loved to come in and, and see all, the, all, the, all, your, right. all your staff. But right. with, with, the, with, the, with all these different uh, things going on, lockdowns and different things, uh, they've grasped and actually exponentially grasped the hold of everything and said, hey, no, we want this technology. And you always had that service. We did. We always had it, but it was something but, they, it was something they didn't think they needed. I didn't like and, it. I didn't uh, like virtual that well either. So, so yeah, so home banking, uh, you know, paying your bills online, doing different things, getting e-statements, that has become a real big thing now. And, uh, you know, access points where they have debit cards, or, where ATMs used to be the big thing. Now you can go to your grocery store if you have your PIN number, you can get cash right there. You don't really need to go into a financial institution if you have the connectivity with your plastic cards. And one thing, too, you have um, shared a little bit about, you know, the shared. Um, well, share do, do we say banking? How do we say well, that? Well, shared branch? It's, it's, well, share branch, but share banking what does is that mean? somewhat the synonymous deal of how you actually transact a, a business transaction. Right, right. right. So sure. share a little bit. Maybe some people at a credit union think, I don't want to, my only credit union is right here. Uh, yours is on 36th Street mm -hmm. in Jefferson. Your other one is located it's on Plymouth. Uh, Plymouth. Between Michigan and but share a little bit. What are the perks when you were part of your credit union and other credit unions are kind of a, what well, a CUSO, CUSO, it, CUSO well, means? Okay, CUSO is a credit union service organization, C-U-S-O, CUSO, mm -hmm. a credit union service organization. And, and we are very fortunate that um, we established a core processor. And the core processor is actually one that actually takes care of all the transactions. Which means know. what, in a nutshell? That's, that's the computer that runs and drives everything that we have all your accounts. Which in. gives your members the access. Access and to what? To all the other credit unions that are on the same core processor. And so we have a local processor, CU Answers that actually does this. There they're, they used to be local, now we're national. We've, we've moved on. People actually become owners of the QSO. Their credit unions are actually owners, just like we were. We were one of the original owners in uh, Western Districts. And so we have access points where our members can actually transact business, go in to talk to an actual live teller at another credit union that's part of this core and actually can transact. And, it doesn't and their account com comes up and their they're account able comes to up do, and everything else do with, business. You know, but there's always identification things that well, we yeah, do. Well, yeah, we, we know that. Things. So we had to put that out, that copy. Yeah, we, but, they make sure they but, do who but, you are. But the point is, is that they have those access points. But also, too, they can use those ATMs at, at those particular uh, branches. But also, too, that was a plus with the COVID deal is that other, you know, these branches had drive throughs and everything else. And they had extended hours, possibly through drive throughs and they were actually able to use those at no charge. So there was a lot of benefits uh, that came out of that whole deal. Even though we had all this stuff in place, uh, we thought about a disaster being a regional, local, not worldwide. And people dragging their feet, yeah, right? Yeah, not worldwide. And it actually was a worldwide uh, disaster, I guess you want to call it, pandemic. And so it actually... Uh, it was something actually the only there's some you try to always take some try to look for some good mm -hmm. in the bad right and it it did it did uh push us to actually push the technology well you have kind of a we always say that um amongst each other kind of a mayberry kind of feel to your credit union yeah, here's what I said but that. you have the you have the engine yeah. behind mm -hmm. it that is like um, enormous mm -hmm. access to all of the bells and whistles that people have at a big credit union, at yeah. a big or, well, organization well, okay, of credit union, right exactly it's, right it's always that we always we, we always had the uh, kind of the you know the the Model T Ford look, possibly, but we always had the space shuttle ready to go anytime <laughs> we wanted to. The mothership was available. Yeah, but then, and a lot of people, you know, the young millennials out there just grasped on that very quickly. We have members that live in Austin, Texas, uh, you know, Oklahoma City, right. uh, San Diego, and they transact business with us, and that we are their primary financial institution. They have connectivity because they have direct deposit into their account. They have access anywhere in the world. Right, and they can call your... your um, like your branch and talk to the a friendly live, voices live. of all the people there's they grew live, up with. There's always a live person. At there's it. always a live person, and or you'll pick up, right? Right, and there's, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. I mean, there's a lot of creatives have gone to phone, phone, uh, you know, having actual call centers, call centers, mm -hmm. and those have been very uh, helpful. Um, but you do have that available yeah. to your uh, members so, after right. hours. But most mm -hmm. everybody I've been in your uh, uh, your credit union, mm -hmm. and I'm even having lunch with you and. 
if it goes through all the channels, you look out and go, I got to pick this up, mm -hmm. and you pick that up and, and help the members. Well, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. So that's uh, so. But I, I always call. You got the firm team when you got me on the phone. I mean, all the yeah. professionals are out. Got to call Michelle. Or Michelle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. Or Terry. And, and, but the, but you asked a couple of questions earlier on. What what is what is uh, 2021 look like? What do you think? Well, it's it's going to be it's going to be a, a little bit of carryover from 2020. We're going to have mm -hmm. a lot, possibly some things, but it's going to be more technical. I mean, there's going to be a lot more technological things that are actually going to be more advanced. Uh, people are going to actually, you know, want, they want to be able to join online, they want to be able to get their loan online, they want to be able to transact, transfer their IRAs, do whatever, it's all going to be... Well, when will they come into your credit union when they want to build, they're looking for a mortgage, or they yeah. have, like, um, mm -hmm. example being, yeah. I know people that have not the most stellar credit. No, no but see, actually, so the what thing do you is, do? Well, the thing you know? is, is this, is that I, I, I foresee 2021 is actually doing more actually possibly Zoom type of things or connection that type of way where you have FaceTime or whatever with the, with a the member but not talking about account numbers and that type of thing but more on a on a one to one basis saying what can you do to improve your credit. What, well you what, could be with people right here yeah. in their car on, on the phone. Uh, uh, walking and, and, you know at virtual at, yeah at home yeah. and you're talking right. to you mm -hmm. and they're doing the virtual. Right. How's that make you feel? You can just gonna be a rock uh, star babe. Well what, what makes me feel is that I always worry about the glare off my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the lights and everything, you know. WCT so so is doing the same thing. Yeah, the, the how same we get thing, this? Yeah, you how know? we get that glare? You know. How get, <laughs> right, and, right. And so I, I got a face for radio. That's my. That's my thinking. Yeah. Now let's talk uh, money here. Uh, uh, you know, which we everybody right. loves the topic <laughs> of money it. in the groups. But why? You know, we've gone in our circle of friends and um, talking about Bitcoin. Yeah. What, what do you think? Um, some of this new currency that's uh, out there I, I really, that are trading it up um, as, to as buy far, products. As far as a credit. Even. You know, CEO, I wouldn't. I can't really advise anybody on uh, uh, what it is. But do you but, see that? Well, that's a, that's a virtual that's a virtual currency. There really isn't anything behind it. Of course, they say, well, well, there's nothing behind the American dollar besides America. You know, that's the thing. Right. So, so what is behind Bitcoin? I don't know, but it has it has increased, and I think what Bitcoin right now, one Bitcoin is uh, worth what uh, twenty or thirty two thousand dollars, whatever that means. Right. They said so, if you would have got into it, a lot of people are moving towards it. But this is what we're hearing in circles, yeah. not that you're promoting it, mm -hmm. but uh, people are hearing that more and more today. Yeah. Anything else they're hearing tomorrow on the financial? Well, the thing is, the biggest thing right now, I, I just want to want to tell member, people that are actually listening, don't go for the big return right now. Don't be, don't be, be rate shopping where you have to, you know, I'm, I'm going to take a higher risk because what happens is, is that uh, I've, I've seen it over the years where people are, are shopping for the higher rate uh, or taking the lower the higher, rate or not. No, oh, higher oh, rate you mean like for investments. Okay, basically. And, yeah. and so they're, they, they become a little more not risk averse. And so they'll actually take higher risk. And where I've seen where people actually lost. Uh, uh, I mean, yes, you take a big risk, you get higher returns. Right. But the other side of it is you can't actually lose. And if, you, if you're talking about your retirement income that you're right now you're no longer working in the market you know in the marketplace or creating any type of wealth uh, that isn't probably the time to take the risk yeah. you, know, you, you know you know kind of look at your finances and say okay this is what I need to live on this is what I can go and this is how long I could this money is going to last the, the, the thing is is that I, I Nowadays, the interest rates are so low. As far it's as almost like they're giving money away. Yeah, as far as and then the return on the investment is very low. So, um, well, what does I, it do for a credit could, union to um, I would recoup say, their? Well, I would say first of all, a member needs to find a good financial planner, someone right. they can trust, mm -hmm. and be able to go that way, and then they can determine what your element of risk is. Now, as far as the credit union goes, uh, we had a huge influx of money come in when the government paid out the first time. Yeah. And. Um, and so our assets increased, I think, six million dollars just overnight. Uh, but what do you think about the the, the 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 average American? They're saying only has about eight hundred dollars in their savings, and people aren't really saving. You're seeing was people coming the in, yeah, really. <laughs> okay. But uh, but it's kind of scary to know that the average American only has about eight hundred dollars, which you know they're living on the edge. They're one check. Well, two checks you know, away. When they, when they say that, it's interesting because they're saying about actual cash, but there, you know, there's also they always forget about the other side of it. They do have some of them have additional availability of cash, which is a line of credit somewhere on their credit card. Okay. The scary part. And that's is, the relationship with you guys. Well, or? whatever. But the scary part is that we have you know, we have some Americans. That's what they're living on. 
you know, if, you, if you're laid off, if you know how credit reports are working and how your credit score is determined, one aspect is, is how, how much credit limit do you have? And what they'll do is they'll, they'll do a, 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 basically a calculation and they can figure out what you actually make monthly. So if you were to say you're, you're, to say you're making $3,000 a month, for example, and you lose your job, what they're going to look at, they won't know that you've lost your job if you have a line of credit on uh, credit cards, a total, let's say you have $30,000. Okay. So what will happen is that they know that you can live two, three, four months without a job. So your co score is based on that, based on what you have. Is available. that how that works? It, it, that's one portion. Of it. Okay. So the, the thing is, that's what's scary. That's what's a scary part out there is because that's the unknown right now, is that how many people that have been laid off or have been displaced because of the lockdown, they are classified as non-essential employees, which is kind of hard. Right. To, to, to well, we're dealing with that right now with the so, re restaurant industry. Exactly. That's terrible. Right? So you have people that have never been unemployed. You have never, never been without a job before, and it's got to be scary. So the thing is, is always, my, my thing is that if you're in a situation, I don't care what the deal is, if you have a, a relationship with a bank or a credit union, call them. Tell them your situation. They have things that they can work with you. Okay. Don't wait to the last minute. And I know it's easy to do because... You're if, hiding from your... Well, you're, you're hiding from Most it, of the yeah. time it's that if you have always paid your bills, you have a pride. Oh, you have, okay. You have a pride set. You have a pride thing. Not that people don't pay their bills, they only have pride. But the thing is, you have a pride. This is, my, this is what I am. My job was this or whatever. And so, you just call your inst financial institution and let them know what you're dealing with. Now... Um, they may be experiencing now um, with the three months off, you said people didn't pay mm, into their mm, escrow, they didn't yeah, pay their right. PMI, mm. their taxes, mm. that bill is going to be coming due. Yeah, there, there, there's always and that. That's <laughs> going to happen. And uh, hopefully there's, there's going to be some way to get this taken care of um, that will you know, work out for everyone. But, you know, the, the banks and credit unions, I mean, banks and, you know, financial institutions are in business to make money. That's right. how they make, generate money. Well, somebody has to pay the light bill. And, and give it yeah. to someone else. So there's a, there's, everybody's into it. It's, it's, that's how's, it the for, how's the, um, how's the, uh, uh, you have a very low on foreclosures because, you know, you yeah. work really close to your members. But mm -hmm. what about, you know, are people refinancing? Are they remodeling? What are they doing during well, if, this COVID? if you have an option right now, it, the interest rates being in, in an unbelievable historic low, I mean, you can get a 30-year mortgage. I believe it's under 3% now. It's almost like 2 and 2 and 2 and That's and almost 30 incredible, years, right? 30 years. Because you um, and I paid, what, 12 to 15% well, we when first, we first bought the, our back, home? Well, back in the years ago. Yeah, not, not, we're, not, we're dating ourselves here. No, but not, you know? we're on a second marriage. But the thing is, our, when our first marriages were, Yes, absolutely. I, I remember. My first mortgage was 12. Mine was nine. I actually assumed a mortgage, which are almost unheard of nowadays. Yeah. You can't buy them that way. But I had assumed a mortgage, and our, the mortgage at that time rates were 18 percent. Right. So during the Carter years. Yeah, it was. So uh. we did that. Uh, yes. Yeah, well, that's. What, <laughs> but if you were an investor back then, you made money. You had seven percent CDs back then. Yeah, and now, but you put your money into an account and mm -hmm. uh, at, at, at banks and credit unions, and mm -hmm. you're. For you, they, I almost like they're not giving you that much. I hate to say that they're not giving you enough to save. You're only making how much on your savings? Huh? Savings? Well, yeah, it, it, it's a very low interest rate. Right. But, but, but but the problem is the other side of it is they have to. They can't lay it off anywhere either, <laughs> and make the same amount. Usually, what it is, it's a wash. If you look, he, there's a lot of wash. So the thing is. They have to have a big generator of some way we can generate money. And right. Say, how do you generate income to pay the light bill? It's through lending. Exactly. You've got to get those and mortgages you, out there. Have, if you have a, and if you have a strong, if you have a membership that was impacted dramatically, let's say you had a huge membership that was restaurant, or there were service industry type people that weren't able to work, you have you have a situation where now you have people who aren't borrowing. Right. They're holding on. And so that's where the things go. So, you, and then when you had that big stimulus come in, there's a lot of. A lot but there of, is, there is, there is some um, for people to come in and get the home equity loan. Oh yeah, there's, get there's the all mortgage. That, there's all that's that probably stuff. yeah. That's probably good. All right, well, how much time we have left? All ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, oh right. my god. And we can put this in the turkey. Hey, you're on the air. I'm on the air. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm interviewing David. Yeah, that he was. He wants their, to thank you so much for not mistake. showing up. No. <laughs> We probably won't even use it. You at the castle? Yeah, we are at no, the castle, castle, so say hi to your fans out there. You know, with uh, your new hi. book, uh, hey, how you doing? Decide. How's that going? <laughs> How's what going? I'm How's your book, um, Decide, going out there? 
well, the book is going great. I actually had a podcast this morning on the Dave Pama Show, and he's a podcaster from London. Oh. Okay. So we had our podcast oh. at 5.30 this morning, and it should go out, I think, tomorrow, he said. But we had a great time. Just, a, you know, it was so funny because he's in England, London, and oh. he's got that accent. You know, he's got the accent from, oh, yeah. from England. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's in the accent, and it's like, man, you know that he's, he's on the air. Just let him know that. <laughs> Well, you're on air, and we want to, you know, we're so excited since your last, we're doing another book signing today for the YMCA, but uh, awesome. yours, we're getting better and better, but yours was absolutely fabulous, so we were so happy about that, but David, uh, I got David in the chair here, yeah. interviewing him on the credit union, you know? Yeah, I'm strapped down right now, waiting for the current to go through. So, what, what do you think about, here, well, now that we're on, you know, I respect your opinion, and uh, you just wrote a book to sign, how do you think 2021 is going to look, look like for I West Michigan? Yeah, I think 2021 is going to be one of the most amazing years we've ever experienced in our country. I think Donald Trump is going to win, no question about it. And I think there is going to be some transformation in our country that is going to be absolutely, unbelievably good. All right, all right. Wish all your fans out there a Merry Christmas, okay? Hey, everybody out there. This is Robert Regan with the Robert Regan Group, author of Decide. I'm wishing you and your loved ones. A very blessed Christmas and a happy new year. All right. Thank you, my friend. Talk to you later. Thank you, Pam. See you, David. Yeah, bye-bye. All right. Okay. How many more minutes we got here? Uh, you're at eight. Eight. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay. So let's talk eight about um, how do they get, um, all right, let's talk about how they can well, get, get, become a member, how they can come to you if they need a mortgage they, they or do what? A lot of things. They can check out the website. Okay. You can do that. You can do that. That's the first start. Check out the website at WDMCU.org. Okay. We'll put that on and, there. And uh, you can actually check that out. It talks about how, how to become a member right there. Mm-hmm. And you, it requires us. You can actually uh, do it through PayPal or wherever and actually pay that. Uh, it's five dollars to become a member. That, that stays in your account. You still get interest on it. The whole you have a great program. Real quickly, um, Westy. Our little oh, yeah, mascot little, little you have kids. for, have, for we, little we kids to start out of their own account. And you believe, still believe that that is a really good thing to do for kids to get start that yes. savings early? Yes, start at savings. I, I would re recommend if you have the uh, ability to do actually uh, payroll deduction, mm -hmm. you know, start just putting 5 or 6 $10 a, a, a pay period into your child's account. You do that for your grandson, and I can't I, believe I, how much I, accumulated I, I, after I, a few I, years. I have done that, yeah. I've done it for my grandson. It's a little more than $5, but I've done that. and. It's accumulated. He's been able to buy. A, I, I heard car? a car and yeah. been doing a different things. So uh, it's really for an education. But it's it's amazing how wealth can actually accumulate over a period of time just through payroll deduction. Right. And just putting it in for a vacation fund. Maybe you need to replace your car yeah. in, a, in a couple of years, or you want to do a big project in your home. Yeah. And do two, you know, do a year of, or two, or putting money in a way yeah, you'll have the money. Yeah, the one thing too is that that's one thing is too. Is you always check out your financial institution if there is a way to actually pay incrementally on your on your oh, loans. Yeah, talk this about is that. something we do at Western is that uh, we've always allowed our members to payroll. Uh, we just we, when we do the disclosures, they're actually doing a monthly payment. But what you do if you have you get paid once a week or you get paid twice a twice yeah. a month or whatever, we allow you to actually pay on the loan. Uh, on incremental basis, but in, right. in, in, the, in the long run, you'll find that you're actually making one month payment early. You're paying simple interest, so you're paying that interest off as a, it's daily interest. I think when people see the breakdown so of how much do, with the principal actually, and what yeah, that... You'll actually pay your loan off early. Interest. Uh, and it's an incremental, it's a give back to our membership. We, we don't report how much, how many millions of dollars over the years we've actually probably given back to our members just in actual savings on interest because mm -hmm. they paid basically on an incremental. Well, if you start at a very young age, having a relationship with your bank, your, your credit right. union institution, mm -hmm. as you go through uh, the changes or even struggles in life, mm -hmm. they know you well enough um, in a relationship where they will stand by you and help you well, get through it. That's the thing. That's, that's exactly right. We've, we've done that over a course of, you know, 60 years, you know, that yeah, we've done this. So we, we've uh, done that very, very well. And, uh, and I'm sure I could have a lot of testimonies on members over the time that have actually done that. Uh, I've, I've been, I've been uh, blessed to have actually been part of some of those uh, success stories. Uh, um, but, okay. Yeah, so. So we're going to go through with that. Okay. Anything else coming up in 2021? Uh, let's see. Before we wrap this up, you know, 
So it's so wonderful to have you here as a guest. Thank you for making well, time yeah, out of your day. Well, I didn't have a choice. It's actually, on a vacation, yeah. and uh, but, uh, you know, yeah. we, you came through, and uh, you look absolutely fabulous. Well, thank you. It's always better to look good than feel good. Remember that one that was uh, Billy Crystal that was doing Fernando? You know? Exactly. You look marvelous. Remember? You look marvelous. That's right. Yes. Well, and then you're going to help uh, later on after my second mm -hmm. guest gets uh, wrapped up. We're going to do the, a book dedication for the YMCA. That's you're going right. to be Daniel speaking up book. for them. For, and he wrote a book on the Greater Grand Rapids of, of the YMCA, and you're going to read a little bit of what, what exactly. all the wonderful things. Exactly, dedica a dedication from uh, yeah, Roger So you Lucas. accepted the net, so we'll have yeah. that one. So we want to, okay, we're going to wrap this up. Okay. And we appreciate you, David Kime. Oh, really? And um, you can check out David Kime's Word of the Day. Can you share a little bit real quickly? You love, we love putting that out there. The Word of the Day is the Merriam-Webster. Merriam-Webster Dictionary app that I, we use. You've been doing it for years, and well, I just we, put you we on there. Well, we do it for years. I got a, I got a really steady following of about three people. Um, <laughs> But uh, there's a couple people that like to, you know, they print it out, they throw darts at it, you know, the whole deal, it's fun. But it, but it is something I, I've enjoyed doing. It's, I, it's kind of an educational thing. It gives Pamela uh, something to talk about because she gets, she gets yeah. to talk about her and stuff. You get to talk about WCET, it's, 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 you get to talk about right, everybody it's, it's in West really, Michigan. It's, it's really less about the word about getting Pamela out, but she's not on the camera. She's kind of like, what was, the, what was the movie, what was the show uh, oh. with the... Oh. I, now I lost my train of thought. Okay. Actually, the guy used to talk across the fence. You never saw his oh, face. Oh, yeah, that it was, was home improvement, yeah, right? Home improvement, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like yeah. that. So Pam was behind the scenes on this, but she's actually in front of, she's not in front of the camera, but she's in front of the camera. Exactly, like, Brian. You know, and do I love doing it. I love you doing the word of the day, and yeah. I think it's a, a, a valuable to put out in the public, mm -hmm. and we do it every, most I think, five days a week yeah. in the morning, so you can check it out. And check out Western Districts Members Credit Union. You can find them online right. for all their services. Right. Correct. Exactly. And if you if you if you're out, you're out of state, wherever, mm -hmm. check out a good local credit union. Yeah. And um and, and wish your um, your staff and your board of directors and all your members a uh, Merry Christmas. You looking there? Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is Pamela Kime from uh, Grand Tech Media Business TV, and we will catch you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Now. Merry Christmas. Merry All right, Christmas. you did better, and I've met so many wonderful people, but I want to welcome up to the podium here, David Kime, to do this dedication to the Grand Castle Library, Daniel Babin's book, Inside the Great Grand Rapids of Wild Wit. Oh. I'm not trying to see. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing great. Okay, I've been doing great. I got this done really good. So I want to thank you for doing that, babe. I want to give her a kiss. Everybody knows oh, he's my husband. Oh, it's good. But he's going to be doing yeah, this dedication. It's the inside look of the, of the YMCA of the Greater Grand Rapids. And that, here is the actual book here. It's written by Daniel P. Babbitt. And actually, he dedicated the, uh, the book to Roger Lucas, the designer and builder of the castle. Dreams do come true. All the best, Daniel Babbitt. And, and now, this and is actually you know a that? great book. I had a chance to really uh, thumb through it here quickly. I, I, we have a copy at home, actually. Yes, we do. Daniel's had written that a few years back. He has, and it's actually a great book. It's actually an amalgam of about 90 interviews that he had with uh, members, management, and staff about the exploratory work of actually digging beyond what, what is actually the YMCA yes. to them. And it's not just a, you know it's about just exercise equipment, it has to other things. So it's a testament of what they actually came through. So you have people that have been dealing with traumatic health issues, but also uh, just basically like to get out and actually be with other people. And, and we have raised money for the YMCA. Oh, absolutely. Um, the, the Hour of Impact Luncheon, if those who have uh, sat at our tables, but that impact after school to help at-risk kids, they also have done the, um, the senior programs. Oh, absolutely. And your credit union has been a sponsor, sponsor exactly. of, of the, the mission of the right. YMCA in our community, yeah. correct? Yes, absolutely. But this, this book is actually a good read, and it actually talks about all the proceeds. So that's one thing about Daniel. He's actually not only writes about a great program, but he actually is a, a very... Uh, uh, basically a nice guy because he gives all the royalties and everything to the YMCA and also the part of it he's uh, Michigan CASA it's called C-A-S-A -S -S but it's an advocate for the abused and neglected children here in the Grand Earth, Greater Grand Earth area so what a wonderful mission it, wow so it's, that's it, it's, wonderful so I not only read the book but you're also helping other people and you may know Daniel does serve on the board with me he does the yeah. YMCA so um, that's why was, he, he had no problem he knows you well yeah. that you would be here today he has um, some family issues no. he was unable to be I'm here well, I'm proud that he's actually letting me do this <laughs>